Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I know I am a little tarty. I apologize. My webinar um, went off a little late um, and I needed a little refresh. So I hope you guys can forgive me on that. But we are here. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Um, Wednesday, today's Wednesday. We are almost there, which for some people it doesn't matter, right? But we're here. So per usual, um, I want you guys to invite and share, invite and share, and invite and share. Um, as I am gonna do the same and start a watch party. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome. So um, thank you guys uh, for coming in today. <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, and we are um, going to talk about today, um, good topic, three low cost ways to work with an event planner. Some people believe the event planners cost a lot of money, um, which is not totally true. Uh, but we, um, there are ways to definitely make sure you get things low cost, right? Okay, so I have shared, I hope you shared as well, um, and look forward to you guys like getting your feedback and hearing your questions and all of that stuff. Love, love, love to hear from you guys, right? So um, what I wanna do is one, you know, in the chat, get some thumbs up. Let me see that going. Can you hear me? Can you see me? And then we're um, gonna get started on three low cost ways on how to work with Event Planner. Hey, Derek, how are you? So thank you so much for joining. Okay, um, if you don't mind, this is my this is my mic here. So that's why you see it right there. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying something new. Trying something new. Hope the audio is good, but I'll listen back to it to see if it is. All right, you guys. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Melissa Jakes. I am CEO and founder of Rescue Event Planning, also known as Olivia Popa Live Events, Grace Under Fire. I am your event planner guru who has certification courses, government contracts, and way lots of clients of events going on. Um, and so I am here that where I am able to give you some feedback on different ways of doing events. And um, today we're talking about uh, three low cost ways to hire uh, an event planner. So um, way number one or three low cost ways, to, yeah, to hire an event planner, okay. So way number one, right? Um, there are different ways to do this. You could, um, some event planners offer um, like a kind of do it yourself, like a checklist in a sense, right? So there are ways that you can have a checklist. They give you things that you need for the event and you're just kind of, um, they give you the play you kind of go one by one, right? Yep, I purchased the plates. Yep, I purchased the spoons, the cups. Okay, I got the venue. Yep, I signed my contract. Okay, my save the date went out. Okay, I got it, right? So those are the ways to do that, right? So those are kind of called your um, um, your checklists, like purchasing a checklist from an event planner um, that can work. So that's one low cost way. Um, usually those don't cost much, maybe $75, but really the hands is in your, the ball is really your court. You're just following a checklist, not even a guide. The event planner doesn't know a lot of information, right? So for those who are like super duper duper, duper duper on a budget, that is for you. Um, another low cost way, um, or number two, is, um, an, um, well, I almost wanna give you a fourth one. But another low cost way is having um, a one-on-one -on -one with event planner. And so that would be that maybe the planner, not maybe the planner is most likely not gonna come out for the day event, but they will sit in um, and walk you through your event step by step. Uh, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, kind of get a nice little plan together. You're run a, um, probably not sure run a show, but more like a plan. So your first one is like a checklist. Your second one is more of like a plan. Um, and um, what that does is it, it gives you a little bit more in depth, kind of more personalized, that you can say, more personalized checklists for your particular event to make sure you're staying on track versus uh, overall general 
one, right? Um, and so then the third way is um, something called um, a power planning session where it's a good 90 minute session that you have a follow up of, let's see, you get a follow up of um, 45 minutes and then 30 minutes afterwards, right? So it's like your big planning of 90 minutes. Okay, I know the event plan learned everything that they needed to learn. And then you're following up um, with another 45 minute to see like how are things going? Did you have any issues, any problems? And then your 30 minute one follows up afterwards where you are then um, like almost, almost like gearing up for the event. Okay, here's everything that you need, last minute things that could happen, all of that stuff, right? So he or she is coaching you basically through your process of your event to make sure it runs smoothly, right? So um, that is another way. Um, some other people do virtual planning where they plan everything virtually for them. Um, those, are, again, it's low cost. It is low cost than actually having an event planner on um, in person which is fine, but um, it gives you, it, it does give you a little bit more. It's just that they are not there in person, right? Um, so that you're not having that much options to really walk through with the event planner. In all, there are ways to plan an event without an event planner. Um, but one thing you wanna remember is that um, you wanna make sure that when you're planning an event, you're doing the investment, right? It's not about trying to, um, be cheap is about making sure that if you, especially if your event is like a conference, um, if it's a master class, um, a live master class, if it is um, a book launch or a wedding, um, you want to make sure that you have somebody um, there. And when I mean somebody there, I mean somebody who can really make sure that it can go very well for you. Um, you don't have to stress about it. And um, it, it, it can definitely make sure that it's um, running as smoothly as possible. Hey, Tori. Um, so make sure, understanding that an event planner is an insurance policy. You guys have insurance on your car. You have insurance on your house. Um, some people even get insurance on their phones right? <laughs> so you want to make sure you have an insurance on your event because you only have, usually you only have one time to do this event and you want the event to be done right. You want people to enjoy themselves. So you need to have insurance and your insurance is your event planner. So the number one way is you can get a checklist. It's like $75 checklist where you're kind of doing it on your own, your DIY. You have a second option where you are doing more of a personalized checklist. Um, the event planner does sit with you for a little bit and, um, and does a checklist, but it's more personalized in a sense. And then your, um, your third way is having a 90 minute power planning session, then a 45 then 30 minute follow up afterwards, right? And so that is something that um, we do offer. We offer our power planning sessions to those who cannot afford uh, or don't have the ability, I'm not gonna say afford, don't have the ability to have an event planner in person. So our 90 minutes, when I mean we dive in, we dive in. Um, understanding your full event, understanding how we can help you um, to venues, to um, photographers, videographers, catering, makeup, all of those different um, elements that you have on an event, we make sure that we help you in those areas. Um, and then we then um, have a nice debriefing form afterwards where you're able to get that information and you um, can then make sure your event is running smoothly, right? So it's almost like a one-on-one -on -one coaching for your event um, that can definitely help you um, be successful in that. And um, understanding what that means for you is that there are different ways to do it as far as price-wise. Some of those things cost like um, between like, Five ninety seven, four ninety seven, right? But what I do, I make it a little bit more affordable. Where it's two ninety seven with a payment plan of two options um, for those who need a little bit extra help and they can't afford somebody to be there, but they are just like, I don't know, I I really know everything to in, in that can help me in an event, and so I need somebody to just kind of really like 
go through and comb through it with me to make sure I'm on track, right? So we do do offer that. Um, we do do offer that. I cover my power planning session and I'm going to drop it in the comments here as well, as, as well as my watch party. Can I pin it? Pin comment. Yay. So, um, can I pin this? No, it's okay. I think I can. I want to make sure it's on top for you guys. Well, I'll pin it later. So um, I want to make sure you guys have that um, for as an option, right? Some people don't realize that this can happen. You can definitely do that, and it's very low cost. So typically, an event planner will cost you about three, four thousand, uh, depending on the type of event. It could be between eighteen hundred, two thousand, right? And that might be a big expense. You're like, I'm not trying to spend that much. So this is a way where you're still able to get the best of both worlds. You have an event planner combing through all the details, making sure you have all of that prepared for the event and the day of you're running the show, which is fine because you were prepped for it. Right. And so, you know, what if, you know, a happened, then you got your B plan. B didn't work out. Then we got our C plan. Right. And you're not stressing about it because you were prepped and worked with it. Right. So you guys, the link is there for you. Power planning session. It goes for 297 and there's an option where you can, um, if you, uh, let's see, uh, if you can, it's a payment option. Um, Yeah, if you don't see the payment option, you just let me know. I'll, uh, we can always talk about that. But it is two ninety seven. but if you need a payment option, let me know. I think it gives you an option when you go on the link. So just let me know. If it, if it does, then it great. If it doesn't, then let me know. No worries. <laughs> we'll work it out. But I want to make sure you guys have, um, you, you're able to really understand what it means to have this. Because for some people, it, it's not going to work out. It's not going to really work out if you don't have that support. Um, but for those who really just can't afford it, that's totally fine. Um, here's another affordable option for you guys, right? So the first one is you might just have a checklist. It's very generic. Um, uh, it's not personalized to your event, but you are good enough where you're like, yep, I can check, check, check and go. So those are options. Those cost maybe like 75, 50 bucks, right? The second option is you have more of a personalized checklist that might cost you 75, 90, I don't know, something like that. Where it's more personalized, you, um, the event planner meets with you maybe for like 30 minutes or so. Okay, you're doing a birthday party. How many people? Okay, got it. And then you're going through and you're checking, right? Um, but it's more personalized to your event. Um, and then what I offer, um, which I think is more of a nice robust offer is that it's a power planning session where we have 90 minutes where we meet together and then we have a 45 and then a 30. So we're only, we're meeting three times, honestly, for one price. And, um, we're going through and not only are you get a checklist, you get a debriefing venues, things to really make sure that we are on track for your event. It's just that you don't have you don't, well, not that you don't have to, we don't have the pleasure of having my beautiful face at the event, but it's almost as if I'm there. I'm training you up for those issues that might arise. Um, so, you know, I offer this option because I don't like to see people who can't afford event planners, but their event is not coming off right, right? It's just not working off too well. So I want to make sure we have those type of different options um, for all different type of clientele, right? So you guys, let me know what you guys think about that. Um, is that something that you're interested in? Is that something that is like, oh, I didn't even know you offered that, Melissa? And it's like, yes, I do. You didn't know? Let me know what you guys think. Get some hearts, some thumbs up. Um, and um, it's, yes, Evan, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your part any of, um, for you guys and events that have come up looking forward to working soon. Yay. Awesome. I am too. I am totally excited. Hey, Michelle. Boy, I can't even see my own stuff. See more. Yeah. This needs to be bigger. 
Perfect. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Um, I am, we just finished our three series of webinars of seven secrets um, that the event planner doesn't want you to know. So if you are an event planner and you missed our webinar, I am so sorry that you missed it. Like that breaks my heart. But send me a message so we could talk about how to get you onto the webinar next time. And the webinar is free. Um, and every time we do it, I just enjoy it because people are like, they love it, they love it, they love it. Um, and it's totally rich. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining me for hashtag Ask Melissa Wednesdays. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.